Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our previous lecture, we studied about the A range and length space methods of NumPy. And today we are going to see how to create an array containing all values as zeros or ones and also how to create identity matrices in NumPy. So let's get started. So I've opened my terminal. I'm going to write Python 3, hit enter. And I also I'm going to import NumPy as NP. So our first job is to create a 1D array with all elements as zeros. So creating a 1D array of all zeros or an array in which all the elements are zero. So the syntax is array name is equal to numpy alias or np dot zeros and I need to pass the number of values. So number of elements or number of values is going to be the parameter in this case. Now let's create an actual array by following the syntax. So array name is equal to np dot zeros and I'm going to pass five as the number of values and I'm going to print this array. So I got the result as an array containing five zeros. Now let's create a 2D array or a matrix in which all the values are zeros. So in this case, I need to pass a tuple to this method that is rows and columns. In last case, I only passed the number of elements but in 2D array, we have rows as well as columns. So we need to pass a tuple containing number of rows and number of columns. So we need double brackets here because it's a tuple. We are passing a tuple and not a scalar. So the syntax is same with slight change. So I have created a 2D array of all zeros containing three rows and four columns. Now let's create a 1D array of all ones or an array in which all the values are one. So syntax is same as zeros, but we need to replace the word zeros by ones. So syntax is same as the previous example. We just need to replace the word zeros by ones. It's same as we do in physics, like we replace M1 and M2 by Q1 and Q2 and the formula changes from Newton's law of gravitation to Coulomb's law with different constants of course, but it's a slight change. So please take a joke and let's move on. So I need to write array name is equal to np dot ones and I need to pass five because I'm creating an array of ones which contains five ones or in which the value one occurs five times and the only value present is one. Now let's create a 2D array of all ones. So syntax is same. We need to pass a tuple this time with number of rows and number of columns that we want. So I specified that I need an array of all ones a 2D array of all ones with three rows and four columns. So I got the relevant or the required result. Now let's see that how can we create identity matrices. 
so for those who don't know what is an identity mattress so it is a special type of mattress in which the diagonal elements are one and rest of the elements are zero and by diagonal i mean the main diagonal which starts from top of left side and ends at the bottom of right side because there are two diagonals but there is only one main diagonal in a matrix so we can use the i method to create the identity matrix and in this case we have one parameter that is the order of matrix because an identity matrix will always be a square matrix so it returns a matrix and not a vector so syntax is np.i and I need to specify order and order is 5 in this case. So in today's lecture, we studied how to create an array with all values as 1s or zeros, and also demonstrated the method to create an identity matrix. That will be all for today. This video is brought to you by Programming Knowledge. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for updates and stay tuned with us for next lecture. Thank you.